everyone, it's Chrissy again, your Life Skills and Deployment Educator at Fleet and Family Support Center in San Diego. Today I wanted to come in and talk with you a little bit about the stages of deployment. These are the emotional stages of deployment. There are seven of these cycles of deployment that we talk about um, with what happens with family members and with service members. Today I'd like to just cover the first stage of deployment. The emotional cycles of deployment is a research-based evidence tool to show generally what happens to us when we are preparing for a separation. Now, the interesting thing about this is it's not military specific. Um, people actually go through these cycles even when they are not experiencing a long deployment. So you might actually notice these kind of stages um, in your family members. For example, if I have a older child who's getting ready to leave the house, you actually might see some of these stages within your family members at that time. Um, so I have a printout here and we can send this to you digitally. You just have to reach out to someone at Fleet and Family and we'll get that to you. Today, I'm just going to be covering the anticipation of departure. Um, now we've created these videos in response to needing to interact with our clients um, based on the current global pandemic that's happening at this moment. Um, the thing about the anticipation of departure is that some of us um, might not have actually gotten any time to prepare for the anticipation of departure with um, the current situation. Um, so this actually can happen months out or that can happen really within a very short window of time depending on when that service member needs to leave. Um, so the, the reason why I like these slides particularly is it shows what happens during an anticipation departure and how that's different between the family and the service member. Now the family might actually experience more feelings of um, sadness, more feelings of feeling disoriented, um, withdrawn, emotionally separated from their service member. Um, they will also feel anger, resentment, whereas the service member will sometimes feel, feel guilt. Um, the other thing that a service member might experience when working up for a deployment is that they have trained and worked to do a specific job. And that job is now something that is within their grasp. So there might actually be some excitement um, with an anticipation of departure. Um, I, I joined the Navy because I wanted to do this specific job. I wanted to be in this department. I wanted to be on this ship or in this squadron or in this submarine. And I finally get to go out and do the things I wanna do. Um, so it's important to remember that that shows up differently um, between family members and service members. The other thing about the emotional cycles of deployment is it would be nice if all of us started on stage one, everyone in the family, extended family and our friends started in stage two and then moved on to sta starting stage one and then moved on to stage two and then we all moved together to stage three. However, that doesn't always happen. So at that time, there's not much we can really do. Um, so what's nice about this is if you can recognize where you are in the emotional cycles of deployment, you can kind of see what's happening with you and then what's happening in your environment and then know what's coming later. The next stage, which we'll cover in a different video, is detachment and withdrawal. I actually have an interesting story I'd like to tell you about detachment and withdrawal. Um, as you can imagine, it shows up differently um, between spouses and service members and different for different people. Thanks for watching and look for one of our other videos on the emotional cycles of deployment. Bye, everyone stay safe and healthy, okay?